This is down in my garage. I just stole the crock pot from the kitchen. Uh, I set it to 100, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just above the 80 degrees Celsius. That would be 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's just kind of heating up the water right now. And um, basically, inside here, down in my garage, is the um, the Mobius strip model that you might have seen in some of the other videos. Uh, I just happened to have tw twist tied it on, in the white. You can see the white PLA. That's what we're trying to dissolve here in the crock pot. The, um, there, there are wooden bars that are twist tied on here. I just did that to keep it off the bottom to make sure it wouldn't burn if there's a hot spot in the um, in the cooker. Um, it also kind of keeps it a little centered, which is nice, and it also helps keeps it submerged. So there we go. Um, supposedly, you can do this in the crock pot, keep the water hot, and uh, it will be done cooking in about 36 to 48 hours. So uh, here we go. This is the experiment. So here I am back with the crock pot, and it has been about... Um, I would say that it's been about, what, almost 24 hours, and I can still see the water in the crock pot happens to be boiling just slightly. It's right at the simmer point, I guess, at 211, 212 degrees. Water boils at 212. And, um, so, yeah, it, it's just kind of bubbling away, boiling away. And, uh, we've had our part... Uh, the 3D stew here has been brewing for quite a while. It's been a, it's been several days. It's been just shy of four days, and um, that was partially due to just some other commitments I had. I just figured, hey, let it cook, slow cook it. Um, so uh, according to the Cubex instructions, they recommend putting it into water uh, for a couple minutes. So I'm gonna just take this bucket here, five-gallon bucket. It's got some water in the bottom here. I'm going to uh, pop the top here, and uh, let's get the other side, releasing it. Uh, right now the water, it is on warm, it went to warm earlier this, today. Uh, warm, the temperature was, I believe I, with the thermometer it said it was about 155, 160, but I think it was climbing up towards 190. Um, I could be wrong. I'll have to do that separately just to see what the warm temperature is on my particular crock pot. Um, so there we go. We have it. Uh, taken the lid off. A little, little steamy there. And, um, ooh, wow. Interesting smell. It, uh, it definitely has a unique smell. Uh, I do not know how to describe it. Um, Sorry if I'm a little off with the camera as I move. So here, let's give this a poke, see what happened. Here's the part. I'm just going to take a wooden stick and get in there and poke it. And Yeah, you can see knocking it. Uh, the supports kind of break away pretty quick, easy. There you go. It's just kind of falling apart. You can see all the little scraps that have already fallen to the bottom. So that's a good sign that uh, these break away so quickly. Um, now, I did notice pulling this out that the, uh, the model has bleached away the color of the black pigment. So that has leached away. It is now a definite gray color. Um, and I'm going to take the whole thing and put it into my cold bucket of water for a few minutes. There it is. It is submerged and I'll let it just cool down. Hey there, so I just took this out of the bucket and um, here in the manual it talks about the uh, hot water method. Uh, it talks about setting it for about 48 hours and then uh, after that running it under water which we did in the bucket. Um, after that it just says to crumble away easily. Use a blunt knife to scrape the supports from the model. So I was going to take off the twist ties that were holding the, the wood. Uh, again, the wood was just for me 
to not have the um, the piece hit the bottom I was afraid of the burning so off comes that uh, I've got a piece of wood down on my desk here to protect it and I'm already amazed because this is just crumbling away so much easier it's kind of like sand um, so much easier I'm doing it with my finger rather than even a tool wow this is pretty amazing um, the only thing I'd say is I need to go get my bucket because I'm gonna need to rinse it off it just crumbles right away so it really does do a good job with that cleaning um, the ABS still seems firm Uh, seems pretty solid still really it's just the uh, PLA that's affected so the ABS really didn't seem too affected by it it's just snapping right away there we go cool I just went and grabbed a dental pick that I had because this seems perfect for it and you can just see all this the PLA is just falling away like sand um, I kind of wonder if a good pressure washer, like, would just, or a good hose with some pressure would just pull this stuff right out. Like, it's amazing how it's just coming right out at the moment. Uh, and it really is just like a sand, you can kind of see right here, just a glob, just a glob of it right there. If this was a normal structure, this would be so easy to clean. If it wasn't so much internal. So, here we go. This is a piece, whoops. This is a piece of the raft right here, and you can just see it just crumbles under a little bit of pressure. All of this just, it's like crumbly sugar. So there, that's what it looks like. And so after all that cleanup, this is the final part. Uh, probably took about, I don't know, 20-30 minutes total for the all of the cleanup. But um, this is the good side. This is black uh, ABS blast plastic. It is now a, a medium shade of gray, so it did leach out a lot of the color, but it's still extra durable, I would say, like ABS. So, um, th and then this is the back side. Um, it does do pretty well, but you can see, you know, part of it's the print. The print quality on the back is a little rougher, and there are little blotches of white inside here where they're just it's just in pockets I just didn't spend the time to uh, pick and clean it all out um, but it is so much more impressive now holding this whole object cleaned up after the uh, support system is gone versus uh, before before as I had it before when I gave up um, the only other thing I'd say is, you know, also a lesson learned I mean this is probably one of the most complex parts I would ever try to grow can't imagine a part being too much more complex uh, just due to the surfacing so I'm excited to see what challenging parts come out with support structures uh, for growing on the Cubex Duo thanks for watching bye